Hi, Verbling. Hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Lauren, and this is our third class of five on homonyms today. So we are going to be looking at homonyms, which are words that sound the same but have different meanings, so different spelling and definition. Different meanings and different spellings. Um, I see Andre, you've joined. Hi, Andre. Hi again. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. And you? Good. Good. I just realized there wasn't a class before. Yes. Well, I would. I if I realized that before, I would have had another one. Yes, one shame. more. <laughs> yeah, and good. And we have Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Ivan, are you there? Hmm. Ivan, I cannot hear you. So if you're there, there will be a little red button here at the top. Maybe you are on mute. Maybe you are on mute. So click the red button here at the top of your screen, and hopefully that will take you off mute. Um, otherwise, actually, Ivan, why don't you watch my screen right now? I will show you on my screen how to take yourself off. So Ivan, you see my you see me right now. This is my screen. Look at the top right corner, this red button here. That will take you on and off mute, so make sure it is not red, and hopefully uh, there's no problem with that. Anyways, um, were you going to say something, Andre? Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm just saying, now we will have more amendments. Now we will have more what? Uh, amendments. Amen, uh... What was the word there? Amendments. Amend. Can you type that? Sorry, yes. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Homonyms. 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 Yes. Sorry. Sometimes with my with my headphones, it's hard for me to to know what people are saying. Oopsies. Um, and we have Fahad. Hi, Fahad. Oh, Fahad, I can't hear you. Maybe you're on mute. So there's a little red button at the top of your screen. Click the red button right over here. Hello. There you are. Can you hear Hi. Me? Yes, yes, perfect. Hi. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. I just good. joined the web link today. Really? Today is your first day? Yes, and it's my first class. It is your first class. Great, great. Well, you'll have a great time. We'll learn a lot of new vocabulary and a okay. lot of new... Just don't be shy. If you have any questions, you just ask them, okay? Fine. Sure. Good. Good. And we have Nihan. Hi, Nihan. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. What is that picture, that your uh, profile picture? What picture is that? It's from a movie poster, November, a Spanish movie. Oh. Great movie. Good, Did you good see movie. it? No, what is it about? Uh, you should see it. I don't want to uh, explain the uh, whole movie. And you should uh, see it. I can say it. So we, sometimes we say, I do not want to spoil it. Yes. That's the expression. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, which means tell you too much that it's not fun anymore. So if but someone I can, pardon. I can say only too bad. Very few people have seen this movie. Everyone should see it. Oh, good. So what is it called again? No way, Ambre. I can uh, type it to the uh, chat box for you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes. Good. Um okay, so Hamid uh Hamid, you said you have a problem. I'm not sure if you're in this class right now, but okay. So, Ivan, I'm try I showed you how to unmute yourself 
and I'm not sure what's going on, but if, I, if I'm not able to say hello to you in about two, three minutes, I'm going to have to open the spot up in the class for someone else. Okay, so again, e Ivan, you might be on mute up here, so just make sure that you uh, can click. You Try can speaking me? one more time. Can you hear me now? now? Hello? Can you hear oh, me? Oh, that's Avni, isn't it? Yes, Avni, not Avin. <laughs> oh, hi, Avni. Uh, Av uh, is that is Avni? Is that Avin here? Another one? No. Good. Uh, no, sorry, there's I-V-A-N. Yes, Ivan. True, true. Avni. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so that's Avni. Avni. Good. How are you yes. doing today, Avni? I'm uh, I'm very well. Uh, thank you. Good. Uh, how about you? I'm very good too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name um, is Avni. I am from Turkey, by the way. <laughs> good. Uh, uh, I am working. I am not a student. Uh huh. Uh, good, good luck, everyone. That's class. <laughs> but now you're a student, right? <laughs> I'm not a student. I am working. I have been working for ten years. <laughs> oh, I know, but but now you are. You're a verbling student. Yes. A <laughs> Good. I, I I have been studying nearly ten years. Sometimes I break, but go on. I like English. Good, good. That's really good. Good. So ten years. That's a long time. That's great. Um. Okay. Good. And then we have Blanca. Welcome back, Blanca. Nice to see you here. Hi, Lorraine. Nice to Hi. see you too. My connection dropped in the first two classes, but finally I'm here. Good, good. And you know what, Blanca? Um, I saw your Facebook message right before I <laughs> this Google Hangout. So I'll yes. get back to you after. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good. Um, actually, I can answer some of your questions right now so I can tell everyone. Blanca messaged me on Facebook and asked me how, uh, when you make the TH sound, so like the, them, they, is your tongue always between your teeth? Yes. The TH sound, it's always like this. The, this. So when you're pronouncing TH, you always have your tongue between your teeth. Okay, Blanca? Okay. Good. And you had another question about um, I and E. The R sound, yes, and the E. Yes, um, my best answer to that, Blanca, unfortunately, is that you will just have to listen as much as you can to certain words. So, for example, university, university, that has the I instead of E. So, you do not say university, you say university. And it, there's no rule that tells you when you pronounce it I and E. Oh so, my you will. God. I know, I know. We we English people are very mean. <laughs> yes. We make it very difficult for you. <laughs> yes. Definitely. So, so it's just more about listening and trying to repeat the words as many times as you can to get to remember when you have the i and when you have the e. Okay. And you said when do you roll the r? Yes. In English. We never roll the R. We never roll the R. When you are rolling the R, it sounds like this. Okay. Yeah. We do not roll the R ever. It is always the uh, smooth R, like this, R. Okay, but the tongue is always in the back? Yes, yes. So I try word. to... Yeah, yeah, and these are really good questions. So when you are doing the R sound, your tongue is not rolling. It is actually just back like this. Err, err, err. So okay. my tongue is just back out of the way. Mm -hmm. It is just back out of the way. It is not touching anywhere in my mouth when I make the R sound. So if you're hearing R, your tongue is rolling at the top yes. of your mouth. So mm. you want to try as hard as you can to don't let it touch or move. It just stays back. Err. Err. 
Okay, and for, for example, information is in the back as well. What was that? And the word information is in the back as well. Yes, every R sound is always infer, information, information, er. My throat, oh my god. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Blanca. We're very mean. <laughs> yes, you're mean. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Good. And we have uh, Halwani. Hi, Halwani. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Thank good. you. Good. And Halwani, I'll just let you know now because I would hate for you to say this in the wrong place at the wrong time. So when you are speaking to a woman, you do not use sir, you use miss or ma'am. <laughs> okay, so for girls, for girls or women, you use miss or ma'am. So you can say, actually it's spelled like this. It's a funny spelling for ma'am. Okay? And then you say sir to a man. Okay, okay. It's just the... Uh... Just a little mistake. That's okay. Yes, uh, That's good. <laughs> good. And Hamid, you're back. Welcome back, Hamid. Thank you. Good. And we have... Uh, okay, so Ivan, are you able to speak? Ivan? Okay, I'm going to have to open the spot up for someone else. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and we have Talita. Welcome back, Talita. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> my my internet stopped work. The, oh. the, the other class and so Good, well, that's now never I, I try to Yeah. Now I try to fix, but let's see. Yes, let's see. Let's hope. <laughs> and yeah. Adita, uh, did you change your site, your uh, environment? Because uh, before the class, before the class, you were different place. Yes, he, she was in a different place before class. So now yes. she has changed her environment. Yes, you're exactly right, Hamid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I'm in in my bedroom. Mm. I am always boring. I'm always boring. Nothing. Nothing. Just me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Good. And, and your we computer. Have... <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And we have Husni. Or Husni? Or Hasni? Nasir. Ha Nasir. Nasir? How do I say your name? Is that Husni? Hasni? Husni is very silent today. Hus Husni, do you hear me? Husni, I can I cannot see your face, so I do not know if you're talking. <laughs> so you might be on mute right now, which means that I cannot hear you. So if you are on mute, there will be a little red button at the top right hand corner of your screen. So Husni, if I can't hear you, I need to open up the spot in class for someone else. So try speaking right now. Husni? <laughs> Are you there? Much. I don't know if he knows he's on verbling. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, sorry about that, Husni. I got to make sure that everyone in class is able to talk. Okay. Moving on, so as you all know, we have a, um, our, this is class three of five classes on homonyms. So homonyms, Talita, maybe you can tell us what homonyms are. Uh, it's word uh, with the same pronunciation, but different meanings. Perfect, perfect, exactly. So, that, so when two words sound the same, but they have different meanings. And like, like Talita said, exactly the same pronunciation. So I will write in the chat right now. So I will write in the chat an example. We have two, two, and two. 
two, like that. These words sound exactly the same, but they mean different things. You can say, I am going to the store to buy two bananas. Bananas. And I will get some apples too. See how I used all three of those twos in the same to sentence? To, to buy two bananas. Do you see that? I will get some apples. Yes. Good. So these are example. These that's an example. Good. Two T W O means like the number two. While to exactly how Gaith said, Gaith says to spelt with T-O-O -O, is also. So that means also. And then to mm -hmm. is like a direction normally. So it gives information. It is a connecting word. I am going to the grocery store. Good. Um, we'll focus in the class, Sorry. please. Write in the chat about the class. I wrote well. Yes, so Fabian, yes. If, if anyone on the outside of class, if you are not in the Hangout, you can still write in the chat, and I will be able to read it. Yes, Blanca? No, it's me. <laughs> oh, Anita. sorry. Yes. Uh, how is the pronunciation? Because my accent is a little whizzing. Uh, I speak the, the word sh, sh you know, uh, oh. like chew and I, oh, I don't... Oh, I see, I see. When you yeah. are saying the t, you're saying the t sound? You want your tongue, because right now you are using your teeth together like this. Shh. Yeah. You want to open up your mouth a little and put your tongue touching your teeth like this. T. 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 Yes. So you can see on my you can see on my mouth right now. It's right there. T. Sorry. T. Ta. 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 Okay. Ta. Good, good. So you don't want it to sound like ch. So you do not want it to sound like chu. Chu. You want it to sound like tu. 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 Yes. Okay. Do you hear the difference, Talita? You're saying it perfectly now. Tu. Okay. Tu. Lauren, I'm afraid Two. we need some um, more Two. pronunciation classes. Block yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Okay. A marathon, a full day. <laughs> yes, pronunciation marathon. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, my the whole world will see the inside of my mouth by the end of that day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will, I promise. I will do that next week or I will do it. I have, I just got some classes coming up on Tuesday, so I will do my Tuesday classes, all pronunciation, and no, I will try I to get as join. many. I can't join. Me oh, no. too. Well, me, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I can. <laughs> if no, you, can. I'm on vacation. On Sunday, please. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I will. <laughs> I will, I promise. I'll do them all next weekend. Next Sunday, I'll do them pronunciation classes. Okay? And can you do a, a class about about preposition? Prepositions? Sure, yes. I'll write that down right now. So, class on prepositions. Yes. Any other requests? <laughs> what other requests do you have? We <laughs> want no, class Laura. on... Just type all the requests. <laughs> I'm writing them. Type your requests. If you have a request, Type uh, a cake, a cake with uh, lemon juice, please. <laughs> Two. I'm writing it down. It's a pizza. Pizza <laughs> too. Birthday cake. <laughs> okay, fine. But really, I'll do a class on prepositions, and I'll do classes on pronunciation. We'll do Maybe more of those. Indefinite and indefinite article. Indefinite articles. Okay, sure, Hamid. 
Do, do you do you remember my suggestion uh, last last week? Yes, yes. <laughs> About um, a citizenship, citizenship American. American citizenship. Yes. Sure. Class may be on on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. actually write that down if I can. <laughs> Thursday. This time. This time of day. Like right now, it is four o'clock for me ish. Four twenty ish for me. Is that good for you? Or later? Okay. Well, I'll see what works. I'll see if I can do something. Um, okay. Good. <laughs> thank you all. Um, okay. And I see we have das Dastin. Dastin. Yes. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks. Good. Good, I'm doing very well too. Thank you. Thank you. And Hawani? Hawani, are you there? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, miss. Good. Okay, let's get started. So, as you all know, uh, this is a class on homonyms. So, please open the document I put at the beginning of class. I'm going to copy it and paste it again in the verbling chat. And I'm also putting it in the Google chat. So there you go. And let's get started now on that document. For everyone in the class, um, please don't be shy. If you have any questions, any questions at all, please ask. If I'm moving too fast, please tell me I can, I can slow down or I can explain it again. So we will start where we stopped off at the last class. And my screen share is not working, so unfortunately I'll type as much as I can in the chat. Oh, I'm very sorry, but it's not allowing me to screen share it for the viewers. So if you are watching this right now, I cannot show it to you on my screen for some reason. What a shame. So I will have to uh, type it in the chat. So the first words we're going to look at is um, okay we're going to look at this clause and and clause. Okay what is that first one there with the capital C Clause, C L A U S E. What is that? Santa. Santa, yes, Dustin. Yes. It's Santa Claus. So if you ever see that word spelt like that, like this, clause, and actually some it's often more spelt like this. Clause. This is Santa. The the um you all know who Santa is. Who believes in Santa? I do. I believe in Santa. <laughs> um, Did you see Claude? Pardon me, Hamid? Did you see uh, Santa Claus? Yes, yes. I saw Santa Claus one day on my roof. And I said, Santa, what are you doing here? I'm Jewish. <laughs> and <laughs> he just said hello to me anyways. It's great. Some people think I'm crazy, but I'm not. No. It was your father. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. 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 <laughs> or your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so now we have clause. C L A W S. What does that mean? The hands of the animals. Yes. The hands of the animals. Animal. Clause. Like a tiger. Yes. So we we have nails, but animals they have nails too, but we call them claws. So the animals have claws and we we just have nails. Okay? So basically what we call what we call for us as nails is the same what we call for animals claws. Yes. Uh, I can use this word, for example, uh, I, uh, I want 
uh, to, for example, I want to buy a, a car a lot. Uh, I need to have claw. Is, is, is it possible to, to do oh. something? Hmm. You don't understand what I mean? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. I see what I see. What you mean? Like uh, I wish, I wish so much to buy something. Or no? I see. I see what you what you mean. But we normally only use claws like um, for an animal. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. So yeah, claws are just for animals. Okay. Um, good. Thank can you, I, Andre. Can I say that? Um, I'm going to put off my pet's claws. I'm going to cut off my pet's claws. You would say, I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim the claws trim. because you are not going to cut it off. You are not going to cut it off. You are going to trim, which means make them shorter. So if their oh. claws are out to here, you're going to shorten them. So we say, I, I'm going to type it in the chat, I am going to trim, T-R-I-M, so trim my pet's claws. Like that. Oh, thanks. Good. Um, okay. Um, moving on. So now we have, I'm so upset that I can't give you a screen share because I really want to show you exactly what I am looking at. But, sorry viewers, I'm very sorry viewers. Okay, next one. We have click and click. So, click and click. Have you ever heard of the word click with a Q? So, click like C L I, the second one there in the chat. C L I Q U E. Only in Portuguese. In Portuguese, and what does it mean in Portuguese? The same of click with K. And it means the same? Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. In English, when we say click, like C L I Q U E, click. It's like um, an exclusive or private group of friends. So let's say, let's say you and let's say all of us, we are in a clique. C-L-I-Q-U-E, okay? If we are in a clique, that means we are friends and we don't let anyone else into the clique. We don't let anyone else talk to us. We are very mean to everyone else. We are a clique and we stick together and we don't let anyone else join and we don't let anyone leave. Like we... the Google chat. What was that? Like the Google chat. Uh, anyone uh, outside the class use the Google chat, only the verbling chat. It is? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good example. So Talita is saying, it's like only we are allowed to use the Google chat. We don't let anyone else use the Google chat. If they want to use the verbling chat, that's okay. But we only allow, um, but we only allow us to use the Google chat, which is the blue chat. Fabian says, can I say I have a great click, like C L I Q U E, and Andre says. Click like VIP. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Click is not always a bad thing. It's just very, we say exclusive, which means it is excluding, so not allowing anyone else to join. So it's very difficult to join a click unless you are already in one. Any questions about that? Any questions? And by the way, my screen share is finally working. Yay! Yeah. This is what we're talking about. So, exclusive group, and I also wrote here, um, like a friends group that does not let anyone else join. 
Have you seen the movie Mean Girls? Mean Girls? Yes. Yes. Good, good. So Mean Girls is an example of a clique because they don't let anyone in and when they do let that one girl in, it's a very big deal. With with Liz and Lohan? It's yeah. Really, ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, so like in It's mean, a very common topic in, in American movies. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Blanca. There's always a click. There's always these kinds of clicks. Yes, in, in American movies. You're very right. Um, okay, and then we have this kind of click, which is like a ticking noise. So like it makes a sound, for example, um, when I do this. That is like a click. Or like, uh, yes. Yes, exactly. So Talit is making a clicking sound. It's like, this is my lipstick. This is my lipstick. When I close it, listen listen to the sound. Oh, wait, I'll put it up to my microphone. So when I close it, I must click it shut like this. It's a very small sound, but... So when I close it, it must click, click shut. C-L-I-C-K. So that's like click is the sound. Okay, good. Click and uh, click and enter this website. Yes, good, good, good. So Hamid is saying like when you click to enter a website. Um, so it can be a ticking noise or what you do with a button. So you can click on a button or you can click on the mouse on your computer. A button on your mouse or computer to, well, to use your computer. So, no. do you know what a mouse is for a computer? Yes. 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 Good, good. Okay. So, yeah, the mouse, for those of you who don't know, is, I don't have a mouse. I use a laptop. But if you had a mouse, it would be the thing that you do this to search on your computer, like this. And it's on... It would be like on here, like this. That's that's your your mouse. Okay, good. Okay. And Lauren. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yeah. For example, if I'm thinking about something, and uh, I uh, suddenly I have a, an idea. Yeah. I can say I have a click. Um. You. Good. Good question. We have an expression in English. So Andre is saying, when all of a sudden you have an idea, like you're thinking, what can I do? What can I do? <gasps> I know what I'll do. That means something, the expression is something clicked. Something clicked means you got a really good idea. So an expression, I'm putting it here in the chat, something clicked, which means all of a sudden, I had a great idea, okay? Or when, oh, here's a good example. When you are sitting here and you're listening to Verbling and you're saying, oh my God, this is so difficult. What is she talking about? Or when you're listening to one of my classes and you're thinking, what, what is she talking about? And finally, I say something that you understand. You finally understand what I've been talking about. You say, oh, that means it clicked. It's like it clicked. That means it made sense. So I'll put this here in our document. And by the way, I'm sharing this with everyone who has the link. So if you're viewing, you can go to this link tomorrow and everything I'm typing on it right now, it's saved on the document of that link. So you'll be able to actually see all these notes I'm making. So a click can be this or it is when you finally understand something. For example, I didn't understand the lesson but finally something clicked and I understood. It is an expression that means something clicked in your brain. 
So your brain was going like this, and then all of a sudden, ah, it made sense. It, everything is good. You understand. Any questions about that? Click and click. It's click okay. Click and click. Good. Good. Okay. Moving on to these ones. Close and close. Now, this is a really interesting one because you have probably been taught to pronounce clothes with the TH like this, clothes. Yes, it has sense because you have told us about the TH sound. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you something that is going to unclick everything for you. <laughs> oh my god. Clothes, when we talk about clothing, clothing, for some reason we often pronounce clothes even though it's T-H-E-S. we sometimes pronounce it like close it, almost the exact same pronunciation and the reason is because when we're saying it quickly we sometimes forget the th sound so sorry to confuse you there Blanca but this is one <laughs> exception one exception to the word I understand we why you say you're so mean <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But either way, however you want to say it, so if you want to say this one clo close, just like this one, or clothes with the TH, both are correct. Both are correct. Okay, so to close something, you know that that means to shut something. So, what's an example of using close in a sentence? Close the door, please. Perfect. Close your eyes. Close the window. <laughs> and another meaning of uh, close, close uh, I have many close friends. Close, yes. Okay, close. this is another definition. Or, close, close, as in... Yes. Being in proximity, as in proximity. So that's very good. I have many close friends. Great, thank you. So we have right now, this and this are far away, far away. Now, now they are close. Close, far. So when something is close, it is in proximity to the other one. Or Good. near. What was that? Or near. Near. Mm -hmm. Near. 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 Yes. Near. Yes. Good. Near. I'll put that in right now. So we have close, which means, um, let's say, or close, near. Exactly. I have many close friends, or I li or I live close to a grocery store. Right? So this means near and this means near as well. But we normally don't say I have very near friends. We say close friends because you are very, very good friends. Good, good. Okay. And then we know clothes are garments, the things that you put on uh, what you wear. What you wear to make sure people don't think you are crazy. Just kidding. <laughs> it's just what you wear. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sure you have heard these two words before. Course and course. So this is the differences in spelling. Okay. We have course, which is either a path of travel or a class in school. Who wants to try to use course? So, for example, if you go to a university and you are in university, you take five or six courses a semester. That is courses spelled like this, C-O-U-R-S-E-S. -S. Um, okay, Lauren. so, yes, like English uh, courses, yeah, 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 thank you, yes. Uh, we, uh, the American, uh, the English, uh, use subjects uh, for, yes. for 
uh, I don't know, subjects in high school or uh, closes uh, only use uh, in university? Oh, courses, yes, courses are used in high school. So for, using a high school yes. as well. Okay. Yes. Yes. And good question, Talita, because uh, you take courses in high school and in university. Right now you are taking a verbling course. Verbling course. So you are taking a course in school. So it is very informal what we're doing now because you do not have to go to classes. So it's informal right now. But okay. uh, mm -hmm. a subject is what uh, bio, uh, biology, uh, chemistry, math. This is a subject. This yes. is not a course. Yes. So this is the difference because in high school you have the subject of let's say English, but the course that a grade nine is taking is not the same as the course that the grade 12 is taking. So they are both taking English, but if you are 14 years old, you are taking one course, and if you are 18 years old, you are taking another course with a different okay. teacher. So um, if you are taking math, for example, if you are 10 years old, you cannot take the same math course that someone who is 15 years old is taking. Right? So the same subject, math, same subject, mathematics, but different courses. Okay, I understand. I gotcha. Good, good, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and Lauren, uh, we can use for social activities, for example, I want to take a course about uh, playing guitar, guitar. Yes, I want to take a course to learn how to play the guitar. Good. Or um, I am taking a math course. Now, course can also mean, as it says here, a path of travel. So you can also say, if you're going to say a path of travel, okay, you would say something like, um, have you, first off, has anyone ever heard of that word being used as the course you will take? So, for example, you could, oopsies, for example, you could say something like, I am, right now, the course I am going to take to get to the grocery store is I will first turn right, then I will turn left, then I will turn right, and then left once or something like that. So you explain the course that you will take which is like a course of travel but we more often use it like your course in life. So what path? We use it to mean path. So sometimes course means path or life plan. So you can say to someone for example um, you could say something like, uh, I don't know what course he will take in his life. He is too young now, right? So that means I don't know if he's going to become a doctor or a famous singer. I, he's too young. So course means path. It basically just means path. Any questions about that? No. Good. Good. Okay, we can move on. Um, okay. Moving on. So we've got Oh, these are funny ones. I, I know you've seen this one before, but you normally, I, I always hear people s pronounce it like colonel. This is a silly word. <laughs> we actually pronounce this just like colonel. So this is colonel oh and God. this is colonel. 
And I don't know why that is, but it is a military term. So the military or army officer, right? What's the pronunciation? Colonel? Exactly like colonel. Colonel and colonel. Colonel. Yeah. Colonel. Mm -hmm. colonel. And that is one, that is a mistake that many native English speakers, we also make this mistake very often because people have never, uh, have never been told when they were reading out loud how it should be, how it should be spelled. So, for example, um, the colonel, I always want to say colonel, <laughs> the colonel um, told his men to line up. Okay? So, it is just a leader, a leader in the army or a military officer. Then we have a colonel. So, like, a seed, or I would say like a corn kernel, corn seed. Does, has anyone heard of that word before? A kernel? In, in, IT, in IT area, we use the kernel for a computer. Mm -hmm. This is a, a kernel memory. Interesting. Oh! Kernel memory. I wonder if that's supposed to be carnal, like C A R. Carnal? Yes. Like carnal do. memory, maybe? Yes. Carnal. Yeah, I think it's like C A R N A L, but I don't really know what that means. Carnal, but it sounds very much like kernel. So I'll just put here in brackets this sounds like uh, carnal memory in computers Cornel. like that but okay this is like a corn seed so for example I popped the kernels over the fire to make popcorn like this and I'll just show you actually um, a picture of what kernels actually look like. Kernel. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm actually just looking at this right now. You're right. Um, you're right, Andre. Kernel. Uh, I just looked it up right now. So, or kernel in computers. I don't really know what kernel is though. though. Can you try to explain that, Andre? Uh, it's a kind of a memory inside the computers. Mm. It's a kind of it, memory. Okay. Okay, cool. And Leandro's got it here as well. He's putting in the chat how um, a Wikipedia article, if you want to read about that. So that's, that's very interesting. So, Colonel, I just want to show you what it looks like so you can see the kernel that I am thinking of. But of course, my screen share is not working very well. There we go. So that's what a kernel is, the one on the right. Like this. This is what kernels look like. This is a whole bunch of kernels, and you put them in the microwave to make popcorn. Yay. Okay, moving on. Any questions about kernel and kernel? What is the, the difference between them? Kernel and the seed. Oh, uh, a kernel is the is it the corn seed. Okay. So only it's like, for corn seed. Um, that's the only time I've ever heard of it being used. Yes. So you you would only say like that is kernel kernel corn, which means you do not eat this kind of corn. You must pop it before you can eat it. It is a kernel. So it is like a dried piece of corn. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to say yes um, about only you only use it for you only use it for corn. And hello Nina, how are you doing today? 
Thank you. I'm great. Even great. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I enjoy your listening very much. Thank good. You. Yay. Good. Um, okay, moving on. These ones are important because we use them very often. We use these very often, but they mean different things. So you probably hear this one most often, spelt with an I, like this. Compliment, compliment, like that. So when we say compliment, it is expressing praise or telling someone something nice about them. Give me an example of a compliment. You were a great teacher. That's very nice. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, so you are a great teacher. Or... Yeah, nice person. I think my mm. students are the best. Uh, <laughs> that is a compliment to you. And someone said, I think that was Nina, said, you are a nice person. Yes. Or, I really like your uh, shoes. This is an example of a compliment you probably hear every day. You are, um, I really like your shoes, or you have such beautiful hair. These are compliments, and remember, compliment is with the I. So you can think of that like, I think you have nice hair. I think you're a great teacher. I think my students are the best. I think and you're a nice person. And uh, especially for the ladies, your dress is uh, amazing. Yes, exactly, exactly, Amit. So, yes, we always say things like this, like, oh, my God, your dress is amazing. <laughs> yes, exactly. So these are all things that I think. So if you are ever thinking, what, what is the spelling? You just keep remembering I. There's an I in complimenting someone else because this is what I think. This is my opinion. I think this. Then you have compliment with the E. And this is the, uh, sounds the exact same as this one. And Blanca, they're both that I sound. So compliment, compliment. 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 So there are, there are compliment. different or not in pronunciation? No. Exact no. same pronunciation. Exactly compliment. the same. Compliment. Compliment. Yes. Good. Good. So, this one with the compliment with the E, so this is the difference here. The only difference is this letter, E, and this one has I. This one is when something completes part of a whole. So, I should say whole. So, when two things go together well. Here's an example. Your shirt the, complement to the dress. Yes. Your shirt complements your dress. Unfortunately, <laughs> this example is also a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but th that's true. So you could say to someone, the I okay, I wanted to choose a painting that complements my room. My room. Yes, perfect. Mm. So the compliment here is about two things going well together. You could say those those people over there, those two girls are good friends and they are complement each other because this friend is very very organized and this friend is very very crazy and fun. And together, they complement themselves to make sure they are always organized, but they can also have fun. So that's an example. Two things are not the same, but they complement each other. Yes. And Lauren, uh, can we say this exercise complement is uh, very hard? Exercise complement is very hard. Um, no, because it, it you need to pick two things that go together well. So two things go together well. So for example, 
you can say you can say to, so I said this to one of my teachers last year I said your teaching style complements the way that I learn so the way that I learn well the way that you teach complements how my brain works because they go together well I learn best when I'm listening to you so that means that I think these two things complement each other so if you're trying to say something is difficult uh, too difficult or something you could say some you could say this material does not complement my interests or does not complement uh. Does I have mean? one more question. Uh, may complement uh, be only a verb or adjective? It can be a verb or a noun. So I'll put that in here right now. You can use uh, complement here as a verb or a noun. And same with complement with an I. Can, uh, can I say, for example, the tomato sauce complements the spaghetti? Yes, absolutely. That's really good. So you would say, um, this complements the... So this tomato sauce complements the spaghetti. And this spaghetti complements the garlic bread. Yeah. Right? These are things that always go together. Does that make sense, Hamid? Hamid? Yes, yes, yes. Good, good. So two things go together well. Right? I mean, two things go together well. Good, good. Or complete each other. Good. Okay. So any questions about these two? These two. Compliment and compliment. Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Good. Um, Liam is asking, what is garlic bread? Garlic bread is very, very good. It is an Italian dish. And I'm going to show you a picture of garlic bread right now it's on our screen share because Garlic bread is one of my favorite foods, and I really think you should all know what it looks like, and hopefully you can try it one day. Oh, my God. I don't like garlic. I'm hungry. Oh. I'm hungry now. <laughs> this is what it looks <laughs> like. Oh, if, if you don't like garlic, you will probably not like this, because what it is, it's butter and garlic and Italian spices on the bread, like this. Yum. That looks my so gosh. good. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is my lunch time. I want it now. <laughs> so that's what that means. Um, is it fresh garlic in the, yes. in the ingredients? Yes. Oh. It's very easy. Salt, pepper. Do, do you smell garlic when you eat it? Yes. Little yes. bit. So what I always say, everyone, this is good advice. If you ever want to eat garlic bread, remember that you will not have any friends for at least two hours after eating the garlic bread. <laughs> no dating? No. No, no kissing? No kissing. No kissing. Because <laughs> no kiss, no you are forever. eating. No. <laughs> you are eating so much garlic that it's just in your breath. It's in your breath. We that but, this gives you bad breath. <laughs> but it can be useful for a, a vampire. What was that? Are you drugs? Like? In vampire, vampires. Yes, yes, yes. Oh and, my god. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, garlic bread uh, is a appetizer uh, in some Turkish meals. Yeah, yep. So it I mean, I say it's Italian because my par my mother is Italian and she makes me think that all good food in the world is Italian. But of course, <laughs> it is in many Turkish dishes. It is also in many a lot of Indian food. Indian uh restaurants often have garlic bread. 
Good. Um, I can't believe how quickly time has gone by. We are already at the end of class. Is there any questions I can answer quickly about the material we've looked at that you maybe have any questions about? Right, right now. No. We're good? Okay, well, I've posted my Verbling and Facebook information there if you'd like to follow my classes. Um, otherwise, I must say goodbye to you now. So I hope to see you in my next two classes on homonyms and vocabulary. Okay. 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 Bye, everyone. See you Bye. soon. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my hangouts are so slow today.